Hello and welcome to my channel. This is your girl Jenna and today we will be discussing the conspiracy theory surrounding the untimely demise of Kim Porter. All right, but before we get started, you know what to do. Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you have not already, cut your notifications on, and of course leave us a comment. All right, so, you know, I'm very interested in Kim Porter and all the things that are surrounding um, her untimely demise, and I've always had some questions about it, you know, um, but you guys let me know what you think, okay? I'm going to go ahead and discuss some things, uh, maybe uh, educate you guys on who Kim was, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So Kim Porter was a model, an actress, and she was the ex-girlfriend of Sean Diddy Combs. So I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but at the time of her demise, they were not together. Okay, she uh, was actually, uh, she passed away November 15th of 2018 at the age of 47. And her demise was ruled as natural you know, natural causes. Um, but many people believe that there is more to the story. So one thing that is going around is that Kim uh, was writing a book, a tell-all book. We know what's up with those tell-all books, y'all. You know, uh, and a lot of us are interested, you know, if anybody knows about the, you know, the inner workings of uh, Bad Boy or, you know, Diddy or all the old school news about that time, which was an excellent time, it would be Kim Porter. Let me let you guys know this. Allegedly, all right, uh, Kim Porter started messing with, well, no, it's not allegedly. Yeah, she started messing with uh, Diddy after Misa. I don't know if you guys know who Misa is, but I'll... Uh, put that and show you guys who Misa is but um yeah they were friends and they were uh working at Uptown Records back in the day you know um Misa is you know she styles people like Mary J Blige, Lil Kim and things of that nature and uh they were friends and basically you know she went behind her friend and started messing with Diddy yeah I remember I read something, um, you know, allegedly Misa was like, basically, you know, Kim was, you know, would complain about Diddy, about his infidelity and whatever else was going on. And she was like, girl, whatever, he's your problem now, <laughs> you know, but anyway, so yeah, let's get into these theories, shall we? And another thing, just to let you guys know that. Uptown Records has a few people who are, you know, who are involved with it are not here anymore. Let's go through it. Of course, Biggie's not here. Andre Harrell, okay, and Kim Porter, you know, and yeah, almost L.B. Shore, you know, I don't know if you guys knew about L.B. Shore and his uh, fight with, you know, his life. He was in a coma for like two months or more. Apparently, he had, like, you know, blood clots all over, you know, but um, he almost lost his life, you know, and when Kim Porter first uh, passed away, you know, he had put out some theories out there. Of course, he took it down, and, you know, anyway, so theory is one of the most popular, theory number one, guys, theory number one, one of the most popular conspiracy theories is that Kim Porter was, of course taken out of here on pur purpose you know some people believe that she was fatally injured because of her involvement in a secret society or because she knew too much about the entertainment industry dark secrets okay you guys if you are into celebrity news or if you're into Hollywood and all of that, you already know it's some things that's going on that none of us know about. We may hear it through the grapevine, but we don't know because we're not Hollywood, right? But yeah, they said that, you know, they said that, you know, she couldn't have known some, some secrets, you know, there's some things going around that, you know, Diddy has these parties and Diddy has this and Diddy, Diddy deals with, you know, 
he just, you know, he has a lot of fun and fun that a lot of people may not be used to, if you will. There also are some rumors that she was involved in a love triangle that led to her demise. Okay, so we don't know who that was with. But yeah, um, the second theory is uh, that she had a chemical illegal substances overdose. Okay. So some people believe that she was addicted to chemicals and a lot of celebrities are. You have to understand they have a different lifestyle. They don't sleep. They don't eat. They have to be around cameras all day and they feel like, hey, they have to do some extra stuff to deal with things. Okay. And, you know, there were so some, you know, uh, things that I've heard that said that, she, you know, she dipped in dad, but a lot of them do. All right. So they feel like, you know, she passed because of, you know, an overdose. There is no support or evidence to support this theory. And her autopsy report did not mention any illegal substances in her system. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys are into the, you know, what they call the Aluma, whatever. <laughs> you get me? Um, but there are some conspiracy theorists out there that say that she was given to the people, if you will. I don't know. I have to say different things, guys, but you know what I mean. They believe that she was a member of that type of society. If you, That's the secret society. And that was a part of the ritual, if you will. Okay, of course, there's no evidence of support, you know, of this or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Now, the fourth one, okay, is this. All right. Finally, some people believe that Diddy was involved in some way of uh, Kim Porter's demise. Do you guys believe that? I mean... I mean, I don't think he would do that. He loved Kim. You guys remember when he put, you know, on social media, he put videos of them and they were hugging and they looked so, you know, uh, enamored with each other. You know, he never married her. You know, now he's saying that he, you know, he would marry. If he would marry, it would have definitely been Kim. But honey, it's too late. (laughs) Let's just say that. All right. There is no evidence of that. But yeah, I mean, let me just tell you guys what I feel um, happened as far as her demise. I don't know. I just think she got caught up. Let's let's take this back. You know, you guys, she has a child. You know, she had, um, what's his name? Quincy. Quincy is her oldest son. And that was her son with LB Shore. And so, you know, when she first got into the business, gosh, I think she was like a receptionist or whatever. She would answer the phones. And, you know, she saw her homegirl, Misa, um, with this, you know, up and coming producer and probably saw that drive in him. And she was, you know, she was attracted to the money. Attracted to the fame. She had already had LB Shore, but LB Shore is not, of course, he's not out there like that. But Diddy got that swag. And she got caught up like a lot of us ladies do. She got caught up in the life. I think she dealt with a lot of things uh, as far as having to be on the back end. I mean, she had to witness her man, her baby daddy, have a huge relationship with J-Lo. You guys remember that? Can you imagine having to be on the back burner? I did see an interview one day of her saying, you know, she was always in the background, you know, she never, uh, left his side. So he was kind of dipping and dabbing and messing with the both of them. And she just got caught up guys, got caught up, was a model too. You know, models have to look a certain way. They have to stay a certain weight. She had children, body changing and things like that, had to struggle, um, had to figure out in, in, in the end of her days, if you will, you know, um, she wasn't with Diddy and she wanted to be her own uh, woman. You know, I think she had a business called Three Round Girls. Um, she had a, a business with her, you know, her friends. You know, she's best friends with Kimora Lee Simmons and things like that. And they were divorced and with children. And, 
you know, she had to develop her own way, you know, going from being rich to having to do everything on your own can be stressful, you know, and so, you know, the grass isn't greener on the other side, guys, more money, does, like Biggie said, more money, more problems, more money is not going to make your life better, sometimes it can send you down a roller coaster of issues, so I just think like she just got caught up in the life, no matter what the theories are or whatever, you know, has she just stayed with, you know, her first baby daddy? Would this have happened? I don't know. We don't know. What do you guys think? All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to me. And I appreciate you guys. Thumbs it up. If you got to this point, thank you so much for watching. Leave us a comment and I will see you next time.